All right, good. Uh, this is uh, your professor asked me to give you some idea about what engineers do in terms of the mechanism and design. So I had to select something. So I thought I I'll select something which I, which is has some kind of pictorial uh, way of communicating to you how we design machines, how we design mechanisms. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. This is something that I normally cover in about. Uh, uh, four lectures. So I'm going to condense everything in those 50 minutes, four hours worth of work in 50 minutes. But you'll get a pretty good idea as to what, what, what we do in terms of designing a machine. Machine, when we talk about the machine, if you look around any machine, there is one common denominator. In fact, there are two common denominators. One common denominator in any machine is that we are moving things from one point to another point. Any machine you look around, there are things moving things from one location to another location. So you, a, a customer may come to you and say, I, I like to design a machine uh, to, for example, uh, uh, I want, I'm designing a milk filling plant or something, so I need to design a machine which takes those containers from this location, moves it here, and it stops for a few seconds until I fill the milk or whatever, and moves it to next location. Again, it stops for five, 10 seconds. I can put the labeling and things like that and again uh, moves it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm moving things from one location to another location. This is all uh, uh, is done in all, almost all, most all machines. Second common denominator is that most of the machines, I'm saying most, some machines are not, uh, uh, don't qualify to that category, but most machines are run by electric motor, right, which has a rotary motion. So my input energy delivering mechanism is a rotation motion. And I, need to, and I need to convert that rotation motion to this kind of a motion, okay? So these are the uh, two common things that we have uh, in, 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 in many machines. Uh, this is the design part. And once you design the machine, then comes the analysis part. What is What, what analysis entails? Analysis entails that uh, uh, how fast you're running machine. For example, your internal combustion engine in a car, things are happening very, very fast. It's a very simple machine, actually. If you open an engine, which basically all it has is a, is a, is, a, is a cylinder and a piston and a crank. I have a crank, I have a connecting rod, and I have a piston, and this is the cylinder, this, and a spark plug here. So basically here you put in, put some, a very simple concept, very simple machine, not many things which are happening here, okay? One link, two link, three link, and the piston. Very, very simple uh, machine, but uh, the analysis becomes very complex. Why? Because things are happening very fast. Things are moving very fast. So a lot of forces are generated. Forces are generated. By, by the way, how many of you are engineers here? Oh, all of you. Wonderful. So you understand the concept of force. There are two types of force. One force, for example, you are sitting on a chair. You are applying a force. Your weight. Okay. So this is one force. Second force is, for example, if I take a piece of, if I take this pen and ask you to hold it in your hand, you can hold it. But if I hurl it really fast at you, I'm not going to do that. Don't worry about it. It 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 it, it, it exerts a much larger force than the weight of this pen. Right. So the force depends upon how fast it is moving. So there are two types of force. A static force, your weight, and the force coming from the motion of my objects. So here, even though the masses are pretty small, but things are happening very, very fast. So the forces generated on these pins, on these linkages, can be tremendous, thousands and thousands of pounds. Okay. So this comes under the analysis. Once we design the machine, I have to analyze to see how many forces are there, what kind of force is there, what should be the pin diameter, what material I should use, things like that. So that comes under analysis and that's a pretty pretty massive uh, topic so I'm not going to touch based on that. I'm going to basically cover in this 50 minute today, it's no longer 50 minutes anymore, uh, some uh, basic ideas of designing a machine. Given a simple task, uh, move an object from this position to that position, design a machine without worrying about what kind of forces it takes, whether it's an efficient machine, whether uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a fail safe machine, I'm not gonna worry about that. Just uh, look at uh, the, the, the design part the, uh, and those things come under analysis. Anyway, 